thank you, saints, for coming out this Sunday. We appreciate it here at the Baptist African Episcopal Church where the Honorable Pastor Theodis P. Stinson is our leader. Thank you so much. Many of you already know me, but for our visitors that have come to our church this morning, my name is Brother Lawrence Lee. And I'm not going to take a lot of our time because we want to hear what our pastor has to say this morning, praise God. As many of you know, our pastor has been targeted by the government because he tells the real truth of Jesus Christ he brings to us a message of salvation and people are angry the government is angry that instead of looking to the government we are looking to God to be our savior and our redeemer praise Lord, praise Jesus, praise God praise Lord Thank you. And so the government has conspired all these allegations against our pastor trying to destroy our church, including attacking our friend Sean P. Diddy Combs. The pastor will speak on that. Praise the Lord. Sean P. Diddy Combs is a friend of our church. Amen. Saints, Sean P. Diddy Combs is a friend of ours. Sean P. Diddy Combs is like an apostle to Jesus Christ. Yes, he is. I'm not going to take a lot of our time because we want to hear what our pastor has to say. I'm Brother Lawrence Lee and with no more hindrance, no more complications, no more habitations, no more uh, uh, <laughs> we just got to hear what this pastor has to say. I'm Brother Lars Lee, and I want to bring now to the pulpit our leader, teacher, and God, the man of the hour, for the hour, for the time, because this is the time. Say amen, saints. Let us bring to the podium our leader, our teacher, and our God our God and God that will take us to heaven as Jesus said we will always one day come to. Could y'all turn your could you turn your cell phones off? We won't be able to hear the preacher. I'm Brother Lawrence Lee. Will you turn the damn phone off? Damn. Getting on my nerves this morning. <laughs> I'm Brother Lawrence Lee. Let's welcome our pastor to the podium now. The most honorable pastor, Theodius P. Stenson. Thank you, church. Thank you, daddy boy. Thank you, thank you. We welcome all friends and visitors to the house of the Lord that now you may be saved from 
the destruction because of the devil's ways. I am the pastor, Theodius P. Stimson, a third generation of this Baptist African Episcopalian church. Can I get an amen this morning? Don't be shy. Just get us an amen this morning. I first want to give accreditation to our young brother, Lars Light, for opening up this program so that we may learn the words of of the Lord. Not from the Holy Quran or Holy Crayon. That's what Quran is short for. Quran, a crayon. Because it was written by the child. It was written by children. Unlike the Bible which is really the word of God. Can I get an amen? Get an amen on that. I want to thank you, young brother, for opening up to us this morning. Now, I don't want to keep us long. Because these seats in this church is really, really hard on your booty. So I know you can't sit in them chairs that long. But we could get some comfortable chairs if y'all gave more money to the chair fund. When we get more money for the chair fund, your booty won't be hurting on them hard rock. Whatever them things call. <laughs> it makes me wonder. How I keep from going under. <laughs> we want to talk about. A little bit to die. About the government conspiracy. Oh, wait a minute. How can I do this? Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. We got to have prayer. We can't have church without prayer. Now. All right, say So everybody, hold your head down just a little bit. We're going to say our prayer before we get into our serious meeting. Now, are y'all ready for prayer? Lord, lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. May he protect me from evil and help me go across the holy pastures. Now, I don't like normally like to interrupt my prayer. But you did see or you heard about me going across the pastor. Now how can I be a pastor and y'all don't give to my fund of my airplane so I can go across the pastor. I can't be a pastor. So you got to give to the holy pastor to my airplane jet fund so I can fly across the pastor. How I'm going to be y'all pastor and I can't actually go across the pastor. Now, with that said, and make sure y'all put a little light money Light money, not that dangling stuff that you can hear all over. Now y'all gotta put it in the, the 
paper. So I can fly across the pasture. So I can come back and show y'all how to get to heaven. Because God going to show us how to get to heaven. I'm not going to get you long. Let's get there with the prayer. Lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. That's good enough for a prayer, right? Can I get an amen from the church? All right. All right. Oh, yeah. We want to talk about this morning. About our affiliation. With our friend Sean P. Diddy Cone. As y'all know. The government been after me for years and years and years because of my righteous behavior, our righteous behavior, trying to tear us down. And since they can't tear down because I'm protected by God, I am protected by the Lord. Amen. Then they decide to go after our friend, our brother, our confidant, Sean Fiddy Cone. And that ain't going to happen. You ain't going to be successful, you bad government. Because the Lord is with his children. It says in this book that a government would be upon his shoulders. I am the example of the government coming down on me because I represent God and Jesus Christ. I represent the fullness of of this book right here. I'm here to tell you that Sean B. Diddy Combs ain't done a damn thing wrong. Sean P. Diddy Combs is following the excerpts, the ascultations, the revelations, the palpitations of this Bible. Sean Diddy Cole is pure and holy and righteous. He's our friend. I'm going to show you by the book of the law I did. There's no law above God. There's no, there's no, there's no book beyond this book here. All these False allegations against our friend. Sean P. Diddy gone. Lord, let, can, can I get an amen for the church? Can I get an amen for the church? Can I get an amen for the church and church? Now listen. Listen to, to me very carefully as I explain how Sean P. Diddy gone ain't done a damn thing wrong. Now listen. Now y'all probably seen that video where our brother P. Diddy did a Diddy on Cassette who always showing her asset which is a sin to God. And that's all Sean P. Diddy was doing was telling that woman, put on some clothes. Trying to straighten her up. That's all he was doing. He wasn't doing it with all that beat. That ain't necessary. It says here in the scriptures that man can check one man. That's right. Man can check one man. Going all the way back to Adam and Eve. Eve 
is the super flex, the prefix of evil. That's where the word evil come from. It come from when Eve went against the authority of God. And she got Adam in trouble. And can't say if Eve or evil that got Sean Pity calls in trouble. Because all that he wanted to do is straighten her out of her unrighteous, sinful ways. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Lord. Oh, this is great. This is good. God, God is good. I was just not too long ago. A few years ago, rather. With our other friend. Who is the minister? Minister Lewis Farrakhan. Shout out to the honorable minister Lewis Farrakhan. We was hanging out at the Three Seasons Hotel in Mexico. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What I don't like about Farrakhan, he caught up in the Koran. But he understand that this is the book that you need to be taking a look at. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And Farrakhan was with his other women. And we was in the sauna. And he was saying, a long time ago, they going to come after Diddy. Because Diddy represents righteous behavior and the love of God. And that's how we do it up in here. I want to make that clear that P. Diddy is not a sinner. Because he is not, because fornication and adultery is not a sin anymore. It's not a sin according to God. It's not a sin, my friend. You don't believe me, do you? Ah, that's. You don't believe me? I'm gonna get. You don't believe me, do you? A lot of, I'm going to prove it right now. I'm going to prove it right now. Through the Bible. Samuel. Chapter 2, 4. Guides me to the solution. Now, some of y'all eat pork, right? A lot of Christians, y'all eat pork. It clearly says in the Deuteronomy. That we ain't supposed to eat pork in the Old Testament. But we shall eat the hell out of it July 4th and Memorial Day, right? Praise the Lord. See, God finna break all this down for you. God finna break this down for you. See, but when Jesus comes, Jesus removed and died for sin. So now we can happily eat all the pork we want to. All that, all that ribs and ham, pepperoni, all that kind of good stuff because Jesus died for our sins. That was the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, thou shalt not come. In the Old Testament, thou shalt not commit fornication and adultery it and other nasty stuff. <laughs> that was the Old Testament. But when Jesus, I love it, 
la lave. But when Jesus, when Jesus come, woo, when Jesus come, Jesus break away from the old testament. Jesus died for our sins. So now it ain't a sin to commit fornication or adultery. Because Jesus died for our sins. No matter what you do now, because Jesus died. I said he died. I said he died for the sin. You can do it now. Jesus died for your sin. Because all that was the Old Testament. But when Jesus died for your sin, in the New Testament, he died for the sin. So, that don't exist no more, people. I broke up and brought the light of God to you. So, all this stuff against Sean P. Diddy Cone, talking about he beat women, that was the, that was the Old Testament. This is the New Testament. Jesus died for you for sin. He died for the sin. So you don't have to worry about it no more. They try to embarrass me. Putting pictures of me with different women. They sent different stuff to my wife. Trying to embarrass me. But see, my wife understands the scripture. My wife understand the scripture so you don't bother it's not a sin no more cause Jesus died for the sin amen amen I mean, we done we done cause Jesus died for the sin see my wife know this book because she been around me and I'm here to talk to y'all and bring y'all closer to God so that we can all go to heaven if you understand the scriptures Jesus died for the sin we can't be sinners and we can't be sinners cause Jesus died for the sin We was born in sin in the Old Testament. But Jesus died for and took that away from you. You ain't a sinner, Brother Lois Lee. You ain't a sinner, Sister Mary. You ain't a sinner, Sister Rose. Oh, si Sister Rose, you know that skirt is... Ass too tight and too low. To, but then that's all right. Move your leg. There you go. <laughs> See, it ain't a sin. Jesus died for the sin. There ain't nothing else to be said, people. So I'm going to roll with Sean P. Diddy Cole. And I want to send a message. I want to send a message to T.D. Jakes. Don't you be shame what you do with our brother in the dark. Whatever it is, it's not a sin. Jesus died for sin. Took the sin away. Now, I don't know what you and P. Diddy be doing. Because I didn't go in the back room. It was too many guys. 
doing that. And I, you know, I, it's not a sin, but the audience, P. Stinson, I don't do that. And I don't want to try that either. <clears throat> but it's not a sin. Jesus died for the sin. Praise the Lord, amen. Shaka laka laka laka. Shaka laka laka. Woo! Yeah. So, church, they trying to shame us on TMZ. They trying to shame us on Inside Edition. Trying to shame us on the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. But you can't shame us because we are in commission with the authority of the Lord. As long as you stand with the Lord, you don't have to worry about being shamed or nothing. I stand with our brother Sean P. Diddy Cone. Because he ain't did nothing wrong according to God. And there's no laws above our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he already died for our sins. Our only next step is to go to heaven with lemonade and good milk to drink and good and good everything in heaven. That's what we on our way do. That's why they don't like us. Because we on our way. Glory, glory, praise the Lord. We going to God. Thank you for listening. And I hope. That our words reach your heart. And your soul. Because that's the only way. You going to get. To the promised land. That's the only way. Through brother, pastor, the audience, P. Stenson. Until next time, people. Praise the Lord. Shame the devil. Don't believe everything the government say about a good man who Jesus raised to bring to you the life-giving teachings of the Lord. Thank y'all. And until next time, I'm Pastor Theodius P. Stenson of the Baptist Arrington Episcopalian Church. Leave your comments, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff to our channel. If you don't, if you don't, you ain't going to heaven. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Till next time, y'all. Till next time. Praise the Lord. Can, saints, can I get an amen? Okay, we got an amen. All right, let's, we gonna get out of here. We gonna get out of here, yeah.